Guys, if you want cheap and reliable NBA 2K20 MT, go to Safe NBA MT for fast delivery and use code WITNESS for a 5% discount. If you need to go 12 or no, complete spotlight challenges or spotlight sim challenges, domination, evolve cards, and more things like that, Go ahead and contact Rose NBA on Twitter right now. Link for that is in the description. Yo, what's going on, guys? Witness 2K back on NBA 2K20. In this video, we have part two of the most stacked account on the planet for NBA 2K20. We're going to dive through it, guys, so make sure you drop a like on the video right now and subscribe to the channel if you are new so you never miss out on unique content like this. And I got to give a huge shout out to my guy for letting me jump on his account and show you guys it. His Twitter link will be in the description. Make sure you go drop him a follow after you finish watching this video right here. Now, we went through it last time. You guys see the tokens, you see the MT. He had every single GOAT card before GOAT Pass came out. And you guys wanted to see a part two to it. And I said I was gonna show you guys a part two if he got every other GOAT card and he indeed has every other GOAT card. Every 22 GOAT cards. That is honestly so crazy just to see it, like in person, like it's ridiculous. Every card from both Giannis's and both LeBron's to Kobe, if you got to grind for it, you got to lock in a set for Kareem, T-Mac, KD, he's got all of them, man. And we're going to build some lineups with this squad as well. But we're also going to open up some packs on this account as well. We are not going to get VC because VC is definitely a waste of money this time of year. Um, so we're going to just try some of these non-guaranteed packs to see how we can go. I open up a couple hundred of them. You know, we're not going to get an opal in every pack, so I'll just show you guys the opal pools. We got an opal pool right here, guys. I only took a couple of packs. There's a Miami Heat Court. Maybe this is LeBron. Hopefully, maybe. Let's see. Man, I see a lot of red. I see a lot of rockets. Is it Hakeem? Can it be Yao? Is it Yao? No, it is going to be Hakeem. He's one of the most common ones, so... That ain't exciting. We go back to back Opals right here, which is pretty good considering they're not guaranteed packs. This is looking a lot like John Stockton. Yeah, again, that's another L, but not happy with that. We're actually pulling goats quite common right now. That's a that's a jazz jersey though, so it ain't it ain't John Stockton, it's Timmy D. Again, nothing exciting. You know, we need T-Mac, KD, LeBron, Giannis. Even MJ's kind of solid. He sells for a decent amount still. Another Opal pull right here. Can it be something good? It looks like Rockets again. If it's Yao, it's a dub. If it's a Hakeem, it's an L. I pulled so many Hakeems, and I have never seen a Yao pull, at least on my screen. We go back to back again. I see a Bucks jersey. Bro, so many red. Get these rockets out of here, dude. Can we finally get some heat? Please show us someone nice. Bro, this is another Stockton. God damn. I'm only gonna open up a few more. Hopefully we can see some heat soon. Bro, it's like we're pulling the same cards just over and over again. I at least wanna see an MJ pull. Come on, please be something good this time. Bro, we are literally getting... Oh, we got Dirk at least. At least it's not Stockton this time. We'll take a quick Dirk. It's not crazy, but I want to pull something actually worth something. We go back to back right here. Be something nice. Bro, what? Did, why, why? 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 This is going to be the final Opal pull, guys. Whatever it is, we're just going to have to take it. Yeah, we're pulling literally the same ones over and over and over again. No heat in the pulls, but... I mean, it doesn't really matter, I guess, because this account does have every go cut anyway. All right, guys, we're going to build some lineups now. Well, pretty much just one lineup, the best possible lineup, but that's what I want to do. I want to show you guys something really stupid. So, you know this account has every single GOAT card in the game. We're going to auto-fill best players, and just look what 2K does when, when, when you tell 2K to do this. So, this is an account with pretty much every card on the game. This is the lineup they pick. How, 2K? How is this the best lineup? How you got RJ over LeBron or Giannis at point guard? I don't understand the logic behind this. I mean, KD at small forward is literally the only correct answer. I guess James Wiseman, but there's better big men in the game than James Wiseman. Like, how is Nate Thurman on the squad? That makes no sense, but I just have to show you guys that because when you autofill to best available players, 
it does not work. How is how is the reward Wilt Chamberlain on here, but the goat, but the goat Wilt Chamberlain not? <laughs> We're gonna build a proper lineup now, guys. Um, at the starting point guard, who I want to run is I want to run Goat LeBron. Is he is his preferred position? Yeah. So I want to run Goat LeBron as the starting. Um, Point guard. Now, obviously, Giannis is absolutely amazing. Arguably the best card in the game. But if I was to use this lineup as my squad, I would want to use it to sort of... I would want to use a card like Giannis to the full effect. So I would actually bench Giannis just so I could have that cheese coming off the bench. That's how I'd run it right there. The center position, I'd probably have to go Yao Ming. Yao Ming as the starting center, and then we'd have to run power forward, would have to be Kareem. I think Kareem is incredible. Uh, small forward, it's got to be Kevin Durant. The card is ridiculous, just crazy. And then when we go shooting guard, I think, I mean, we got Vince, but I think, I think the best option is T-Mac. That starting five is crazy right there. I mean, you could sort of run Kareem at the at the at the five, and then you could get like power forward Giannis and run him there, which would be crazy as well. But I'm just trying to build this the best logical type lineup. You know, if I were to use this lineup, I'd want to use like if LeBron and Giannis, if they can play point guard, I'd want to use that properly. Uh, for the shooting guard, I think it'd have to be Vince Carter. I mean, he's amazing. I do find this card better than MJ. I'm sure some of you guys would disagree with me, and that's okay. Unless we can't... Cause I'm trying to make... A, I want to make a full GOAT lineup again. Um, for a small forward, I mean, we can't use the other LeBron or Giannis, of course. So, maybe we will have to use... Vince may actually have to play... And never mind, we got Bird. Bird's crazy. But we could run Vince hypothetically, and then like we could run MJ there. But I think this is better. Larry Bird. I think Larry Bird's better than MJ as well. That's just personal preference. Now, big men. I really like Dirk. A lot of you guys like Hakeem and Tim Duncan, which I definitely do not disagree with. I mean, those cards are really nice as well. I think we'll run Dirk there. And for the, the last big man, it does get tricky, man. I mean, it's not as though you're just like, obviously I'm gonna add my go card, the go cards into the squad, but at the same time, it's like, there's gonna be leftover go cards after we build a lineup. So for the last center, I think we're gonna run Shaq, just cause I'm a Shaq fan. So we're gonna run him there. And then the final three positions we'll put, we can run, like we got, let, let's, we'll chuck Curry in the lineup. Why not? And we'll run another big man. I think we'll run... Let's go. This is actually tough. I'm going to put Timmy D. And then to end it off, we're going to put the one... Oh, then we've got, we got MJ as well. But I think we're going to put Kobe. We're actually going to replace Curry to put MJ. I mean, even though he is just one of those reserve type players, it's good to have him in the squad. So... I think this is like the best. There's so many options on an account like this. There's so many freaking options you can take on how you want to build the lineup. But this is just a quick sort of rough idea. I mean, yeah, you could switch Dirk with Kareem if you want or Vince with T-Mac or you could run Giannis at power or start Giannis, whatever. There's literally endless options with an account like this. But this is something that I just whipped together for you guys to show you how crazy, how much of a crazy lineup you can build on this account. It's absolutely ridiculous. But that is part part two, guys, of the most stacked account in the world. You guys wanted to see a part two. You showed a lot of love on the part one. So I thought I may as well make this a little two-part series for you guys. Um, but I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Make sure you do drop a like on the video right now. Subscribe to the channel if you are new so you never miss out on any content like this. And of course, huge shout out again to my guy for letting me borrow his account. His Twitter links will be in the description. But I'll catch you guys all in the next upload. It's been witnessed. Hey,